Hello and welcome to Database Management Systems. I'm Javita Christie and in this video I'm going to create a database for employees which I have linked down below. So there are tables with primary keys and foreign keys and uh, it also contains data so we're going to insert the data too. And um, in this video and the coming video uh, both the videos are going to create the database completely and then after that whatever SQL videos are there, we'll be using this database. So if you are following along, then I would suggest that at this point you start creating this database. And in the description box, you can find a document containing all the queries and uh, the entire database being used uh, in this video. So you can uh, click on that and download that or view that for your reference. Also in this video, whenever I finish a particular section, maybe creating a particular table, I'll put a pause for about two to three seconds in which you can go ahead and finish your implementation. So you can pause the video too at that time if you find that something is very fast and you haven't yet finished implementing it. So make sure you're making use of that time. And um, if you find at any point that there are any questions, you can leave them down in the comments. And let's get started. So this is the database we are going to create. It contains four tables, projects, departments, employees, and works on. And it contains a lot of primary keys and foreign keys. And we are going to create all of that. So first we are going to create one table, insert data into it, second table, insert data, and so on. And while creating the table, I'm going to create the primary key also, but the foreign key I will attach afterwards once the whole database is ready. And I'll show you how to do that. So please follow along and feel free to pause anytime whenever you feel uh, that you need to implement whatever is going on here. And I've linked a video down below in which I explained this database for ER models. So if you don't understand this, model right here. Please go ahead and watch that video. So let's start. First, we are going to create the employees relation. So this is my SQL plus console. What you see up is the document that I'm using. And what you see down here is the SQL plus command line. So this document I have already linked. It's the same document which I said to you about earlier. So this is the same document and you can go ahead and use it also. Okay, so this is the table and you can see that everything is explained. All you need to do is use these data types and these column names and create the table. So we're okay, going to go ahead and do that. I've already explained create table query in the previous video. So we will write down create table employees because that's the name of the table. And then we'll mention each and every column. So employee ID with numeric nine, and it's a primary key. So primary key, comma, first name, and variable character 10, comma, last name, and variable character 20, and then comma, depth code, character five, and we're not going to make it a foreign key yet. We'll do it in the end. And salary, numeric, 9, comma, 2. And close the bracket, semicolon. It says table created. So let's go and check it. You can see it is exactly the table. It contains all the column names and all the data types. Make sure that you are also referring at this point. You can also refer these. Uh, you can also check it along with the document so that you know that you have uh, created everything correctly. So at this point, if you need time, you can pause, leave this screen on and copy this code and try to implement it. Now let's insert some data into the employee's relation. So again, in the document above, you can see the data that I have to insert and below you can see my SQL plus command line. So in this case, 
uh, there are six rows to be inserted and make sure that while you're inserting you're inserting it exactly like this because if you don't and if there are a lot of spelling mistakes then in future videos when you try to get the same output as i am doing it you will have a problem um, and also while creating the foreign key you might have a problem if uh, there is a mismatch in sql the names of the tables and the column names of the columns are all case insensitive so if you write capital letters or small letters it doesn't matter but uh, all the data that you insert inside a table that is case sensitive so you have to make sure that that data is exactly the way it is so when you see something capital please uh, insert it in a capital way so if there is admin all caps key please make sure that you're doing that so let's uh, start inserting so first you need to write down this query only the first time you need to write it so insert into write down the name of the table employees and mention all the column names from the table so employee id first name last name debt code salary and then you write values and repeat those column names again with ampersand and then finish it with semicolon and it will ask you for the values so first name employee id one first name al last name is be the leader with b capital debt code is admin admin with all capital letters salary 70000.00 and one row is created now you can press forward slash to run the same query again and now insert the second one so two pi capitals r squared with r capital a double c n t all capitals and 40000.00 and again forward slash and we insert the third row so three in single quotes harry remember characters always require single quotes and then hardware with h capital h d w r e everything capital and 50000.00 and the next row you're inserting four with suzy and then software CNSLT, everything capital, and 30,000, sorry, salary 60,000.00. And then forward slash again, ID5, sorry, yeah, ID5, first name Abe, last name Advice, debt code is CNSLT and salary is 30,000.00 and now for the last row slash again and id is six single quote hardly with h capital last name aware with a capital depth code is null remember to insert null you don't use single quotes you just write everything in capital and write down the word null so that's created one row is created and now let's check the data so select star from employees and this gives you the data that you inserted so this is what um, your data should look like and you can verify it and at this point if you haven't yet inserted the data you can pause go ahead and insert and then come back to the video and also make sure that if if there is any problem while inserting and you feel that some you made some mistake you can use the update and delete queries to either delete the entire row and insert it again or you can use update query to change some value inside which you inserted wrongly 
And if you don't know how to use these queries, please see the link to DML video down below, which was the previous video, and you'll be able to do it. Now let's create the department's relation. So once again, what you see on the top is my document and this is my SQL console. So this department's relation contains um, four columns here. You can see code, name, manager ID, and sub depth of. So we are going to insert, uh, sorry, we are going to create this table first with these four columns and the data types as mentioned. So we'll write the create table query, create table departments, and all the columns, so code with character five, primary key, comma, name, as a variable character 30, size 30, comma, manager ID as numeric nine, and then sub depth of as character five, and close the bracket, semicolon, and you can see table is created. Let's describe it. And these are the values inside. So you can see that uh, all four columns are there and the data types are exactly the same. You can also compare your columns and your data types and verify those. So make sure you're verifying it. And at this point, you can pause and finish creating this in your uh, computers if you're following along. Now let's insert some data into the department's relation. You can see this is the data we are going to insert. There are four rows and we're going to insert those four rows. Be careful to use single quotes wherever there are strings and no single quotes when there are only numeric values. And um, Wherever there is null, make sure no single quotes. So let's get started. First, we'll write down the query for the first time. So insert into departments, write down all the column names, code, comma, name, comma, manager ID, comma, sub depth of, and values. Write down all the column names again with ampersand. So ampersand code, ampersand name, ampersand manager ID, and ampersand sub depth of. And semicolon. And the first row we are inserting. So admin, all capitals, administration with a capital, and then manager ID one, and null without single quotes. Next row. We use forward slash and then A double C and T capitals, accounting capital A. Manager ID two and admin with single quotes capitals. The next one is HDWRE for hardware. Name is hardware with H capital. Manager ID is three and sub depth of is CNSLT with capital letters. And the last row is CNSLT, capitals, consulting, C capital, and then four as manager ID, and finally admin with all capital letters, and it says one row created. So all the rows are inserted, now let's see them. So select star from departments, and you can see everything, and you can see wherever it was null, there is no value. If by any chance you are seeing the word null written right here in this position, then that means you made a mistake and um, wrote null with single quotes while entering the data. So make sure that that is not happening. This has to be a blank space, and the word null should not appear here. That is how you insert a null character, null value inside SQL. So make sure that's how your data also looks. So that's it for this video. 
and for the remaining two tables that is projects and works on um, the procedure is given in the next video and along with those there's also the foreign key procedure given how to create foreign keys we haven't created those yet so those you can move on to the next video and watch it thank you for watching see you in the next video